Okay, how you doing, David? My name is Mike Matisau. Pleasure. Okay, nice to meet you. Uh, you're my horse. I'm pulling for you. I'm going to give you a little bit pointers of what you did wrong Thank you. and what you need to do better for us to win this thing. Great. Okay, because it's worth it to me. i got to coach you in. i got to make you win this thing. I want to make it happen. Okay, we're going to start off with some of the mistakes you made. First of all, when there is an all-in player, you never, ever, ever bet into an empty side pot. It's always check, check, check. It's about eliminating a player. Right. So down the field, down the road, never bet into an empty side pot. Okay, mistake number one, calling off your chips with jack high. Never something good to do, okay? Now we're late in the tournament. You got about 35,000 in chips. The chip leader has about 60,000 in chips. And our other player has about 45,000 in chips. I think we're going to be playing four and $8,000 blind. Mm -hmm. our, these are going to be our moves. We, we don't have much to move, but it's going to be, we're going to be moving all in or we're going to be throwing our hand away. We're not going to be on the call unless we have a big hand. It's going to be very important for us to have a big hand to call. Okay, now being in late position with the blinds as big as they are, sometimes we don't even have to look at our cards. We might just move all in mm -hmm. and try and steal those blinds and annies to keep us alive. Right. Okay, if you feel what you need to do is look at your other players, see if they like their hand, look out the corner of your eyes, see if, you, if they like their hand. If they don't like their hand, move in. Let's pick up the right. blinds and annies, keep ourselves alive. But whatever we do now, we don't really want to make uh, a mistake of calling off any of our chips. Okay. Unless we like our hand. Like let's right. say somebody moves all in and we look down and we've got ace queen. Do we think it's time to make our move? Yes, we're going to call. Of course, we're going to call three hand in the spot. Do we have king queen? Well, now it comes a decision. Do we do we think we have the best hand? Do we right. think he's bluffing? This is something that we have to make a decision on based on what you see out the corner of your eyes. And you're going to be looking by how people react to their hand. They're going to look at their hand. They're going to say, they're going to look down. They're going to say, hmm, do I like my hand or not? And right. you're and this is something that, that the good players will always pick up on. They will sense whether that person likes their hand. And what we're going to do is we're going to see if they like their hand or not, and we're going to put them to the test. We're okay. going to become the aggressive player. Okay. Okay? So anytime we're in position and it's lost to us, we're going to move in. And we're going to collect enough chips to survive our, our rounds. Right. Then we'll throw away a couple rounds, and then we're going to get aggressive. And we'll hopefully, hopefully, we'll pick up some cards, right. and we'll do good. Hopefully. But, but we can't let ourselves get blinded off. There's 12,000 around. We only got 35,000. Yeah, We're going to do the pounding. Got it? Fair enough. All right. Perfect. World Poker Exchange. WorldPX.com.